What's this? Open the clouds up. What are we playing? Mario 3. We're playing Mario 3. Well. Yeah. Look at this. You can make Mario dance. Dance, Mario. Alright. Let's go. So, yeah. Hello, and welcome to my second series here. Mario Bros. 3. Specifically... Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah. So, after I finished Kirby, I was thinking what other series could I do, as I talked about in the last Kirby video. And I decided on doing Mario. Now, what kind of challenge am I going to do with Mario? The obvious one. Mario clearly has a mushroom problem. I know everyone's made the same joke that Mario is a drug addict. But no one ever does anything about it. So, today we're going to do something about it. We're sending Mario to rehab. And by that, I mean, we're getting Mario off these mushrooms cold turkey. See that? That block right there's got a mushroom in it. Not gonna get it. We're gonna go through the entire game without getting any mushrooms. Which is gonna be much harder than Kirby. Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. Kirby has six bars of health. Mario, when he's small, one hit and he's dead. So immediately... I have six less chances to get hit, and Mario is already a harder game than Kirby to begin with. Now, another problem with that, Mario's extra lives. They're mushrooms too. So I'm not going to be able to get any super mushrooms, which also means I'm not going to be able to get any power-ups higher than that, so no fire flowers, no leaves for the raccoon Mario, none of that. And I can't get any extra lives. Well, on the... I can get extra lives by by collecting a hundred coins, which gets you an extra life, or by matching up those three things at the end of the stage will give you between one to five extra lives. Uh, you can get an extra life in the card matching game, which I'll point that out when I get to it. And you can get extra lives in the... the, the lining up the three, so... I, I have a few options to get extra lives, because if I was just going through this entire game with five lives and only taking one hit, I would barely make it out of level two. Actually, I'd, I, assume, I probably wouldn't make it at, at a level 2. So, uh, like I said, yeah. No collecting mushrooms. Hope I could get that. Nah, I don't need the star arm at the end of the stage anyway. So, yeah, there we go. I think if you come full speed, you'll get a star every time. So, I also... I'm not gonna get any mushrooms, uh, no mushroom houses, because it's a giant house. So I don't actually have to do, uh, not it's a giant house, it's a giant mushroom. It is a giant house, but, but, um, so I don't actually have to do these two levels here, because all they're doing is blocking the mushroom house, but I'm still gonna do every level. I'm, I'm gonna do everything I can. I mean, I didn't really beat the game if I skipped some stuff, did I? I'm gonna... I guess technically I'm not going to 100% it because I'm not going to clear all the mushroom houses. But I'm going to do the best I can. Probably going to die a lot. Hopefully I don't get any game overs. If I do, I'm not going to start the whole thing over. I'll just continue and we'll put a little asterisk next to the end there to say that I quote unquote beat it. But I think I'll do all right. At least early on. In these early stages, I can just rush through because I know the... Oh man. Oh, if I get mushrooms here... Not really anything I could do about that. Uh, that'll be the only mushrooms I actually get. And if I get mushrooms when I'm doing the lining up game, yeah, I'm not gonna get this. If I get mushrooms in the lining up game, that's fine too. I'm not actually touching the mushrooms. It's just a picture of a mushroom, so it's fine. Um, so I guess... Oh, I know what happens because I fell out of the, the ceiling and I, I wasn't at full speed yet. So I think what happens is if you, if you come at full... Sp if you're already at full... P speed. I, I've never known what the P stands for. I'll look it up later. I think you will get the star every time. And I think if you come... Oh, there's a mushroom there. If you come at walking speed, it will be a mushroom every time. And if you do something in the middle, you know, you start running in the middle, you wait on the screen and jump, that's when it'll be random. So... If I come full speed every time, I should be able to get the stars. And if I screw up and get a mushroom, I should be able to... ...walk slow and get the mushroom and at least get two extra lives out of it. Because if you match mushrooms, you get two. If you match flowers, you get three. you match stars, you get five. 
and if you just get three with no matching, then you get one. Oh, I guess maybe I wasn't at full speed there, or I'm wrong. Um, so, we'll, uh, we'll play that by ear. Alright, so here I need to line these up. If I, if I match up the mushroom, whatever, that's fine. But I'm gonna aim for the star, because you get five extra lives for the star. It's the same. Alright. Nice, let's do it, let's do it. Yes! No! Ooh, that's creepy. I wish there was a way you could get three mouths and just create this... ...terrifying Mario abomination. But anyway, I know these early stages pretty well, so I'm just gonna kinda rush through them. Later on, by the time I get to... Maybe by, by the time I get to World 2, possibly even... I won't be able to rush through them as quickly as I am now, because... I've played this game a lot, too. If you've noticed the pattern, I'm playing a lot of Game Boy Advance games that I know well and have played a lot, because... That's what I grew up playing, so... I'm gonna stick with that for a while. Alright, so... Coming up here on... Probably the easiest mini-boss in any video game I've ever played. If one of these kills you, you need to turn the game off and think about your life. It's this every time. Sometimes it moves a little faster, sometimes it grows wings and flies, but... The pattern is so simple. Honestly, the hardest part about... Oop, the hardest part about it is... When they put blocks above you, you'll see later on. Okay, I'm gonna try and get some some stuff here. I can get an extra life in here. See, there it is. I've got to try and match that. Alright, but I know where there's two mushrooms now. So, it, any items that I get from that, I can use. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But, oh. Well, that was stupid. Must have taken my finger off the button. Uh, any- any items I can- I get, I'll- I can use them. Obviously, I won't use the mushrooms. But, the stuff that Princess Peach gives you at the end, there's a secret right there, nope. Anything that Peach gives me at the end- at the, uh, end of each level, I can use that- well, I won't use the P-Wing, cause that's a little cheap. Um... But, if I get- if I match up and get, like, a leaf, or... a fire flower or something, or if I beat some of the little monkeys on the screen, the hammer throwing, the, the uh, boomerang, whatever. Those I could use, but I'll only have a limited number of them, so I'll have to really think about if I want to use them. Because I'm not going to use the mushroom houses, because I'm not going in the giant mushroom, because Mario knows that's where the party's at, and we're staying out of it. Alright, so I'm going to... Uh, yep. I should have just waited and walked in slow for... The mushroom, whatever. So let me let me do my normal history babble here, because that's what I did for Kirby, and might as well keep that going, because that's pretty fun and gives me some stuff to talk about. This is Super Mario Advanced Four, Super Mario Bros. Three. I know it's quite a title. I actually wanted to play Super Mario Bros. Advanced, Super Mario Bros. Two. Because it's been a while since I played Super Mario Bros. 2, and I figured a good ex oh, there's a there's a there's an extra life right there. Figured it uh, was a good excuse to play it, so I fired it up and I started playing for a couple minutes, and I remembered very quickly. Ah, shit! I died in World One. I can't be I can't afford to be sloppy because I'm gonna die a lot more later. All right, but. But I, I was playing, I fired up Mario 2. Mar Mario Advance 1 Super Mar is a remake of Super Mario 2 on the NES. But anyone who's played it, it's, it's a remake of a Japanese game called Doki Doki Panic. So originally it had nothing to do with Mario. And when you play it, it really had nothing to do with Mario. And the reason they did that is because the actual Super Mario Bros. 2 was never released in America. At, at the time, because it was it was a harder version of Super Mario Bros. 1, which later saw a release here as Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels on the Super Mario All-Stars collection for the Super Nintendo. And I know, there's a lot of stuff here. So they figured it was too hard for an American audience, and they took this game, Doki Doki Panic, basically reskinned it with Mario, and a lot of the stuff, it, bas it defined a lot of Mario mechanics today. 
Just get rid of this guy real quick. Nice. Okay, there's, there's usually an item in one of these blocks. So anyway, I can use this star, but I, I'm gonna have to save it. Not going in there, okay. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. All right, Toad, I'll save your snake king. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, so Mario 2 was never released in America. It was Doki Doki Panic, which was, it had nothing to do with Mario. They reskinned it as a Mario game, and now a lot of the things that you know about Mario today, like pulling vegetables, uh, the, the fact that Luigi has slow traction and can jump higher and Toad is fast and strong, all this, all of this kind of stuff, that was all from Doki Doki Panic, which they reskinned as, oops, gotta make sure not to, oh, I was trying to avoid the mushroom and I wasn't paying attention to the ball, oh, now I have to go get the boat. Alright, um, but, and it, yeah, blah blah blah, Doki Doki Panic, they reskinned it as a Mario game. So, the way you get big in that game is you actually have a life, well, not really a life bar, you have hearts. And when you have one heart, you're small. When you have two hearts, you're big. And you get it from hearts that you pull out of the ground or jumping on a couple of enemies and making a heart appear. You don't get it from mushrooms. So, as far as I can remember, the only mushrooms in the game are... I'm not gonna hit this this time. The only mushrooms in the game are hidden in, in subspace, and they raise your health. So I could just play the game without increasing my health, but that's not really that difficult. I'll still be able to get the hearts. Which I guess I could do it with no hearts either, but that kind of ruins the Mario's a drug addict bit. So instead I fired this one up, which is Super Mario Advance 4. I don't know why they went so out of order. Let me get Iggy here. Is this it? I don't remember which one is which of these things. But, they're all easy too. And now, I'm gonna catch the wands! No, I didn't! Ah, whatever. So this, Mario Advance 4, is a remake of Mario 3 on the NES. And... Mar Mario Advance 2 was a remake of Mario World on the Super Nintendo. And Mario Advance 3 was a remake of Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo as well. Oh, splendid, splendid. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. Well, he looks like a monkey now. I thought he might look kind of snaky. Greetings. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. So I'm not, I'm not going to use that. I say that now while the game's still easy, because... That gives you the ability to infinitely fly over. It basically lets you skip an entire level, which I'm trying not to do. So I'm not going to use them unless if I get really desperate later. But, um, yeah, so I'm not sure why they went so out of order with the Mario Advance games, but they did. And, oop, almost got that one. Not gonna, not gonna stipulate on that. Not gonna look into why at this time, maybe later, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this for the longest time, oop, I can get that though. For the longest time, this was my favorite Mario game. And later, I, I kind of switched, I flip-flopped. I think um, Mario World is a little better, but this one's great. So I figured this was a good one to play if I wasn't going to play Mario 2, because it's a, it's a little bit easier than Mario World. The levels are a little shorter, so it's something I could get in and out quicker. And also, in Mario World, I believe... I'm not positive, but I believe... There's plenty of instances where you can get an advanced power-up without having a mushroom. And in this one, I think that- Oh, that thing's back. So I think this thing shows up every time you clear five levels. I'm not positive on that. But, alright, so I know the mushrooms are there. Yeah, oh, I know the one-up's there. So let's see what else we- Nice! Look at that! Alright, mushroom here, there. Now, yeah, alright. Uh, so I think this shows up every time you clear five levels. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. Alright, looking at the time... I don't have enough time for another... Well, I probably could do another level, but... I'll try and get a couple extra lives here. I think what you need to do... You wanna... Yeah, you try and stop that when it's lined up. I think for this one... Well, forget my theories. They're wrong, clearly. Alright, I really screwed that one up. Alright, well... 
Welcome to Mario 3, everyone. Sit back and enjoy the ride. We're sending Mario to rehab. We're kidding. We're quitting Mushroom's cold turkey. Stick around. Peace out. <laughs> 